Ding. <laughs> Today we are making Linus Lunches Provision Special Oyster Omelette Rice. It used to be a, one of our signatures back then. There's a story behind it also. Yeah, you look at me. Bro, you sure or not? Oyster Omelette Rice, ah? Huh? So is what? Oyster Omelette or Rice, ah? You know? Just there, <laughs> It was really our best seller. The Japanese Omo Rice, well, of course, not the flowy, flowy one, ah. So it's like local, but also familiar, but still in a clay pot. You know, we really wanted to go back to roots. Because mm. we're both Singaporean, right? So we, wow, we've cooked yeah. many different kind of cuisines for different people, different nations. We just wanted to go back to the roots. So right now I have a hot pan. I'm going to add some oil first. Okay, right now here I have the ingredients for my oyster omelette. Sweet potato starch, tapioca flour. For garnish is this pork lard, eggs, rice, and of course not forgetting oysters, which I freshly plucked. No from la, the shell, yeah. Not frozen lah. <laughs> so right now I have potato starch in. Oh, everything in. Don't waste, don't waste. Back then we were poor. And then I fed, we have our tapioca starch. Oh, cannot waste, cannot waste, no waste, no waste. Water, I'm just gonna add. Actually, How much? Don't know, agar agar. Agar. You have to see, everything we were, back then we were doing everything agar ration. Okay, you know this, this one was like after many, many, many times of trial and error. When I first gave it a menu, right, actually, honestly, I don't know how to cook oyster omelette one. <laughs> I have friends train, ma, but this guy said, oh, I love ojin, I love oyster omelette, I can do, I can do, I can do. When I was younger, right, in Tangling Hall, uh, there was uh, this uncle selling oyster omelette. It was really based off memories of how he cooked. And then after it was many trial and errors later that we managed to get the right amount of flour and the right amount of water to get that nice crispiness inside to that pan. So now I'm going to pour the flour mixture inside evenly, not too much, uh. just a bit. Just pour like this, spread it about, give it a bit of holes there. This is just to you know, facilitate your egg cooking. Okay, as you can see, it will slowly crisp up. Okay, while this is cooking, all right, I'm going to break two eggs. Like as always, how we did before in provisions, we use a cup. Oh, the metal cup. Yes, we used to use the metal cup for oh, this. Atas really. Now atas, we use ceramic. <laughs> No seasoning because the seasoning will be on top. Okay. I gotta add a bit of oil, a bit more. I thought you said not too much oil. Yes, a drip, just a drop more. La. You know? See, see the nice texture? Alright. We're gonna let that go for a bit more. Then while this is cooking and this is done, we're gonna take about six to seven pieces of oyster meat and put it inside to this flour mixture. Why? Because when you put that inside, it's gonna make the oysters very smooth. Wow. wow. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Yeah, I'll put more. La. Oh, I'll put more. La. I'll put more. La. Okay, you can see it's already almost a. Uh, it should lift off the pan. Yep. Yeah. Can you see this? Can you see that? Yeah, it's lifting off already. So just a bit more. Lino style. Magic. The magic happens in the pan. Lino style is the first doubt me first. <laughs> but then again, doubting him was the best part. Guess who got the final laugh? Me la. mm. <laughs> Because we were selling these like really literally hot cakes, right? Yeah, I was cursing and swearing, you know why? Because I had eight stoves of clay pots going and I had these two small little stoves just to do my oyster omelette and oyster omelette takes time. So, at the end of the day, my doubt was his my success. success. <laughs> our success. Yeah, our success. It's already lifting off. So, I'm going to add a bit more oil to add in the eggs to facilitate the eggs. Just now, you say not a lot. You need to add slowly. The first batch uh, was to just, you know, crisp the thing up. You know, it won't be crispy. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to heat it up a bit more. Healthy food, eh? But what is unhealthy always tastes best. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pour my eggs now. Two eggs. Nostalgia. Oh, nostalgia kicks in now. All right. And now we're going to let that cook for a while. I'm not going to touch it. See that? See this? This is what you want on the oyster omelette. So you got, uh, you got bits and pieces of your crispy texture, you got your eggs going, you know. So on the side, right, while he's cooking the, the oyster omelette, he always has the rice going mm, mm. So here I've got some rice. Half cooked, so we're going to finish off the cooking. So the timing has to be just right. Rice cooked, nice crispy, and this one still juicy, still fluffy. Goes on top of the rice, bam, out. Yeah. Perfect. Timing is everything in, yeah. in provisions. I will always have the pass. How long? How long? Yeah, and they'll be like, <laughs> Almost done, right? Alright, so at this point of time, we're gonna take the oyster, oy oyster meat out after mixing in. Take it out, put it on the eggs itself. 
So I'm going to do a flip now. I like to use this. This is my favorite fish sauce. I love this. This is like my favorite brand. Thai, Thai fish sauce. Nah. Just a drizzle. Just one, two drops. Okay, done. Finish. That's it. Not too much. It's not too salty. Okay, so now I'm going to flip. I don't know whether I still can do this, but... It's been some time, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> many, very, very long already. Very, very long. Alright, so you can see. Alright, let's hope I still can do this, guys. Okay, ready? Oh, guys, one, two, and... Alright, still got it. Still got it. Still got it, still got it, still got it, still got it. Nice. Alright, so you can see, right? It's crispy here. Oyster omelette's there. Eggs is just nice. Oysters is at the bottom. Why you want to put the oysters at the bottom? You want to cook the oysters, not too much. So it's about half cooked, half cooked to three quarter cooked. Still be gooey, juicy. Yes, fat and juicy. Yeah. That's what I call it. Fat like me, juicy like me. I'm <laughs> juicy too. I'm going to add a bit more fish sauce to finish. Degrease. Degrease, just a bit. That's, that's, not, that's quite a lot, but to me it's a bit because it's just no, nice. Not, yeah. not. Which day you can guess, you can smell the oysters, the eggs coming through. It's very simple. Two different types of flour going in. Yep. We do have to do the rice, but today we're doing exactly how we served it back then. Mm. But if you do it on its own like this, it's I perfect. Quite, I guarantee plus shot you enjoy. It. Yeah. <laughs> so if you like oyster omelettes, try this recipe. Let us know how it turns out. If you need any help, like hey, something doesn't turn out right, let us know. We will come and reply your queries in the comments below. At this point, what I like to do is, you place the pot, put some flavour to the rice, because I don't want to put the colouring on top, right? I put everything I need to put now. So the duck soy, sweet oil, and definitely very important, pork lard. Even more pork lard. You know, they always say whatever tastes good is unhealthy. Yeah, this, this dish is super unhealthy. So, this freshness. Chili. And definitely. Bawang goreng. Bawang goreng. So, yeah. I call this dish the essence of Singapore. Singaporean boys. And I call this dish Minus King. <laughs> <laughs> So I think here really is a, it's a very Singaporean dish now. Clay pot rice is so Singaporean and then oyster omelette is so Singaporean. I totally entrusted right now to figure out the oyster omelette for me because I don't know how to cook. <laughs> and that was really the, the milestone that I had with him. We created a dish that we, we felt that we didn't even know how to make. So simple! So simple. <laughs> Subscribe to Forecast for more of these fucking good videos. Enjoy! Enjoy!